In this video, I'll show you how you can quickly filter your available MIDI grooves based on a single MIDI file so you can find exactly what you're looking for for your drum track productions. So I'm in the Decades expansion library. We'll go into the Grooves tab. And obviously, we have the Decades MIDI that comes with this library. But you can see I have a whole bunch of other MIDI available to me based on other purchases from TuneTrack. So these would be MIDI that come with other expansion libraries, the core Superior Drummer 3 library, or add-on MIDI packs that I purchased from TuneTrack. Now this is great because I have a lot of different MIDI at my disposal, but maybe I want to filter this list down based on a very specific style or MIDI groove. Right now I have a MIDI groove in my song track, and let's say I want to filter all of my MIDI based on this single groove. Let's take a listen to it. What I can do is take that MIDI from the song track, drag it up into this MIDI drop zone, and now it's going to give me suggestions from all of my MIDI libraries based on that single MIDI groove. And they're going to be listed based on the percentage of the best match. So again, here's our original groove, which now is playable from this MIDI drop zone area where I pulled it from the song track. And then we can listen to all of these suggestions. So based on what I brought in here, we have a variety of sections from different song tracks. And right now my preview in original tempo is selected. So that's why we're hearing different tempo changes. I could turn that off. And now it will maintain this tempo of 100 BPM. But once again, you have all of these different selections that you can go through to try to find exactly what you're looking for. And that was all based on this single groove that we brought in here. Now, we can do that using any other MIDI groove as well. For example, if I go into the Decades Expansion Library, let's grab something from this Swing 4-4. We'll grab this Verse 2 option. We'll turn on Preview and Original Tempo again. I can drag MIDI from my MIDI library into this MIDI drop zone, and it's going to do the same thing. It's gonna filter based on those results. And what I want to do is get rid of this browser folder, because right now I'm filtering based on this decades selection. And now we have our suggestions based on that swung MIDI groove from the decades library. Now here's the exact selection. So that's 100% match, of course, but then I have all of these other options as well. Tempo was changing again because we have preview in original tempo. So for every one of these grooves, you can see we have tempo markings and it's auditioning them in the original tempo for that MIDI. Of course, I could turn that off. Just my tempo to anything I want and then everything would play at that tempo. point here is you can see that by a single MIDI file from your MIDI library or anything that you have in your song track, you can filter the available MIDI from within your grooves tab to a very specific style, which allows you to take those MIDI suggestions, audition them, and then you can drag and drop any one of those into your song track and start building your drum parts very quickly, all within Superior Drummer 3.